make it clearer to our children that there are many kinds of drugs and that each is unique and that they are very complex um, factors in human behavior. In other words, to sit around saying this drug is good, this drug is bad, is a fool's game. Every drug is complicated. Every drug has its abusers and every drug has the people who seem to profit by its application. Some, uh, there are, some appear easily adapted for reasonable purposes by most people. Some seem rather like wild horses and few can ride. But we need to teach our children that this is one of the most complex issues they will meet in life. Besides the expression of their sexuality and the problem of how they're going to earn a living, how they shall relate to stimulation in the cultural environment is uh, a major uh, factor determining whether they reach maturity, psychological uh, health, and uh, a sense of personal well-being. So we've totally failed with this. We have not educated our children. And so uh, the legacy of this is a lot of social problems and unhappy families and people whose full potential is delayed by episodes of drug abuse and so forth and so on. But why in the world are we so squeamish about educating our children about drugs? We just don't tell people the facts of the matter. Is it because we are so enslaved to commercial interests or so uncaring of our children's faith? I mean, it's a curious problem. We need to just talk straight to our children. For example, if you raise a child in such a fashion as to not hide from them the facts of life, then conversation around the dinner table may revolve around the fact that uh, so-and-so has had to go to rehab for their severe alcoholism and uh, so-and-so disgraced themselves at a dinner party the other night because they abused alcohol. Or, and uh, the child begins to get a picture that, aha, in the world of adults is fraught with these complex factors and not all negative if the child hears the psychedelic experience spoken of positively they will naturally have an interest in it i don't buy the theory that every generation re is rejected by its children i think that has happened recently and tragically in certain high-tech industrial democracies but to assume that a parent cannot hand on wisdom to a child without rejection is preposterous. And in raising my own children, who seem not wood to be doing fine, I've simply not only shared with them the facts of the matter, but shared with them the fact that the distinction between adult and child is largely artificial. In other words, much of the world confuses me. Much of social situations, sexual dealings, drugs, I find myself wishing somebody had educated and explained it all to me. You don't ever suddenly understand, you know, we all carry with us into life uh, blank spots in our understanding. So uh, I consider myself at age 50 to be in a state of prolonged adolescence and ever learning and assimilating and passing on to young people, which is, I don't say child, I don't say adolescent, I say young people, uh, whatever I know and learning from them similarly. What breakthroughs have been the result of psychoactive use? In a more general sense, um, the whole information, internet, and personal computer world is filled with uh, people roughly my age and younger who have extensive experience with psychoactive compounds. Terence, you've traveled to many dimensions. 
Do you have a favorite? A, a human body incarnated in time is an extraordinary tool for understanding being and meaning. And you know, the dimensions I reach through the psychedelic substances, um, it's my human body and my brain metabolism that opens those doorways to me. Martin Heidegger said, uh, an organism is neither a thing nor a process, but an opportunity opening on to the infinite. And I would apply that to, uh, to human existence and name it as my favorite dimension.